going to use the information right here on top. Uh, combustion analysis of naphthalene, a hydrocarbon. Hydrocarbon means it only contains hydrogen and carbon. You can look at those choices. All right, just carbon, hydrogen, carbon, hydrogen. So that's why we call that hydrocarbon. Found in mass ball produced 8.8 .8 grams of CO2 and 1.44 grams of water. Okay, then use those information to answer uh, the next two questions, which means question number four and question number five. Number four, what is the empirical formula for this compound? Mm -hmm. So we have to do uh, the similar calculations like we just did uh, with uh, question number three. All right, we need to find out the number of moles of carbon from CO2 and hydrogen from H2O. All right, so that's what we are going to do. Um, first, let's find out the carbon one. So what we have here, we start with, uh, you always start with what you know. You know 8.8 .8 grams of CO2. We start from there. 8.8 .8 grams CO2. We are converting from grams of CO2 to moles of CO2 using the molar mass which should be 44.01 grams. And now we have to convert from moles of CO2 to moles of carbon. As you can see, one mole of CO2 contains one mole of carbon, or in other words, one CO2 molecule contains only one carbon. So therefore, the mole ratio should be one to one. Uh, now, it should yield 0.2 moles of carbon. So we'll carry out similar calculations to find out the moles of hydrogen using the information given related with water. 1.44 grams of H2O converting from grams of H2O to moles of H2O using the molar mass, again molar mass for water, from periodic table, you should be able to obtain 18.02, which means two hydrogen and one oxygen. All right, so uh, uh, you see doing this way, the grams of water and the grams of water can be canceled, all right? Just like in the previous calculation, grams of CO2, grams of CO2 can be canceled. All right, okay, the next one, we need to convert from moles of H2O, converting from, put that on bottom, to moles of hydrogen, hydrogen atoms, H, not hydrogen molecule, not H2, okay, just H. Okay, now, you see, every one mole of H2O gives us two moles of H, one over two. Or in other words, in every one H2O molecule, it should contain two hydrogen atoms. So, okay? And now you can see moles of H2O, moles of H2O are canceled. The final answer, the unit for the final answer is moles of hydrogen. Just like in the previous calculation, moles of CO2, moles of CO2, they are gone. Therefore, the final unit, the unit for the final answer should be just moles of carbon, moles of carbon. And here, same thing, moles of hydrogen. 
And what is that value? That's 0 0.16. Okay. So now what do we need to do? We need to divide all of those number of moles by the smallest amount, which is 0 0.16. All right. Let's do that. For carbon, we have 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.16, and that gives me 1.25, that's for carbon. And then for hydrogen, of course, divided by itself, it should be 1, all right? I will write that down anyway, so that should be 1 hydrogen. Okay, so you can consider this as a mole ratio, or maybe uh, number of uh, items ratio, doesn't matter. But now you see, technically, we can write, because you see in all of those uh, answers, should just contain carbon and hydrogen, that's what uh, hydrocarbon is, all right? We just need to find out what the subscripts are. In this case, technically, we can write 1.25, then H is 1, I don't write it, that, of course, this will not be allowed. Why? Because the subscript has to be a whole number. All right? And the ratio of the subscripts, they have to be a whole number ratio. All right? So, uh, a smallest whole number ratio, actually. So now, what do we do? Okay? We have to try to convert this nine whole number to a whole number, all right? So which means, okay, 1.25, if I time four, that would give me five. 1.25 times four, that should give me five, all right? So therefore, I want to multiply those uh, ratios by a factor of five. Okay, I'll just simply do this. 5 times 1.25, that equals 4. Uh, no. That's, I'm sorry, it should be timing 4. 4 times 1.25, that gives us 5. All right? Okay? So, and you have to do the same for this one. For hydrogen, hydrogen should be one time, I mean four, again, times just one, that gives us four. So therefore you have now five carbon and four hydrogen. And now the subscript for five carbon and four hydrogen, C5H4, C5H4, so that should be the correct answer. That's for question number four. And now for question number five. Okay, question number five. We already found out the empirical formula, which is this one. And we just need to find out the uh, molecular formula, and we know the molar mass. In order to do so, we have to find the multiples, n. We have to find out what n is. n can be calculated by using the molar mass of the molecular formula, which is 28.2, divided by the molar mass of the empirical formula. So H4, C4, H5, okay? And if you use the periodic table, each carbon is 12, 4 times 12, so that's a 48, and then plus a, a 5 a hydrogen. Each hydrogen should be just 1, maybe over 1, but I would say this is about 64. because of the 
has to be a whole number of n. Okay. So and then we already know the empirical formula is that. Number five. That's the molecular formula. 